run through some of the new products that are out in 2022. Um, I've done a few of these videos before and I'm usually pretty good at staying up on new things. Some of these things I think have been around for a while, like the FlexiFlip XL. Uh, some of them haven't even come out yet, like the Chaogu, some of the new stuff coming from Chaogu. I also have a copper interchangeable needle set and some new needle cases from Knitter's Pride. So let's take a look at all this new stuff. Okay, the first thing we'll start with is this whole needle set. This is the Luca Cypra needle set, and the set that I have here happen to be the shorties. These needles are 3.5 inch. The set is also available in 5 inch for a longer needle. These are copper, and I don't know of any other set of needles that are made of copper. They are gorgeous. They are probably the prettiest needles I have ever seen. They really are pretty and the rest of the kit comes with everything you expect in an interchangeable set we have the cords and uh, cords and extenders and keys and everything in here and these are kind of ordinary cords i mean they're nice there's nothing wrong with them we're all getting spoiled with the stainless steel the nylon colored stainless steel these are just uh, nylon but they are all spin cords which I prefer if I get a choice. So that's nice about them. Um, my set, I'm not sure if this is with all the set, but my set came with a copper cleaning cloth so I can wipe them down and keep them shiny. And the, the promotional material for the needles is that you have the option of keeping them shiny or letting the natural patina of copper shine through. And these needles I have been using, and you can see, um, I was surprised when I opened this set after not using it for a while. The natural patina of copper is shining through on these, and the ones that I haven't used are all still shiny, but these that I did use, I suppose, just from the oils in my hands or something, um, they've come, they've changed color. So I haven't polished these up yet, but that's something that you'll, you'll, ha you'll have to consider when you're looking at this set. Now, the thing that surprised me the most about this set is that they're not especially fast needles. When we think of metal needles, we think slick, 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 fast, fast, fast. These are not fast needles. Surprisingly, the copper is not slick enough to make the knitting really fast on them. In fact, these needles are quote unquote slower than uh, highly laminated wood needles. There's just a bit more grip on them when you're, when you're knitting with them. So things don't slide quickly. If you're a fast knitter, that's going to slow you down, maybe frustrate you a bit, it frustrated me. If you are someone who is a loose knitter, who has issues with stitches jumping off the end of the needle, these might be a good set for you. Um, they have a nice all-purpose taper length and a nice all-purpose tip pointiness sharpness. I'm sure there's another word for that. <laughs> okay, that's the Luca Cypra Copper Beautiful Needle Set. And the next thing we'll jump into is these crazy Flexi Flip Extra Longs. Okay, so I got an email from someone asking me, have you tried the Flexi Flip Extra Longs? And, nope, I better give those a try because someone's going to ask me about them. And when I ordered them, I wasn't really paying attention and I ended up getting uh, a double whammy here because I also accidentally ordered the Addy's new squared flexi flips. And the squared needles have four flat sides. It's not really very accurate to say it that way because it's textured with this. Um, and if you lined them up, it'd end up looking like a checkerboard pattern. They're textured, which means they have a bit more grip to them. They're not going to be as fast as the regular flexi flips, but they are long. They're very long. Let me compare them to regular flexi flips. You see how much longer they are? A couple things here with the length that's going to be a benefit for some people. Uh, if you have a difficult time working on flexi flips because the, the needle feels short in your hand, this is going to give you more to hang on to. And the regular flexi flips are great for knitting things like socks or, or baby sweater sleeves. This is going to give you more length and I, there's enough here to knit an adult sweater sleeve on these if you choose not to use short circulars or double pointed needles. Let me back up for a minute because the flexi flips, if you're, if you're new to these, 
are a way to knit a small diameter, or with these needles, a, a larger diameter tube, um, without having to use double-pointed needles. They're kind of an alternative to double-pointed needles or very short circulars. And I like them. I like them. I like using them. I think they're a nice, uh, a nice way to knit socks and things like that. And these needles do give you more options for knitting larger tubes, like I said. Um, but the texture on these does make them quite different. Another difference is that <clears throat> with the regular flexi flips, you get two tips. You get a, a sharp tip and a blunter tip. And so whichever end you put in your hand to start knitting with is the one you get. These appear to all have the same. Uh, and I'm guessing that the, this is the sharper tip. Yes, they all have the sharper tip on them. So you don't get a choice with the two. Okay, so flexi flips out of the way. Next new product. This is a bunch of stuff. This is all from Chiaogu, and these products will be out in uh, June 2022. And I want to have this information here because the first thing, the first thing is these new interchangeable needles. These are African blackwood, and the Chiaogu sent some um, information about these. They are participating in the African Blackwood Conservation Project, an organization committed to replanting African blackwood and raising awareness about the international importance of the tree. And so these needles are uh, the African blackwood and a blackwood sapling will be planted um, for each Forte set purchase. That's the name of the set is Forte. And these are really nice looking needles. And I'll tell you, even though the tip is a different uh, the tip is metal, there is no feeling of a join there. The join is as nice as it is down here. That's really nice. And they have a fairly long taper, a good all-purpose tip. So this is the Chiaogu Forte set, and these will be out in June. And then we have more Chiaogu stuff. Let me see. They have new I have a whole bunch of them here. They sent me a whole bunch. They have new cords coming out, and everyone's nuts over Chiaogu's cords, right? <laughs> and these are like the, the red cords that we see from Chiaogu, the stainless steel, the nylon-coated stainless steel. But these are, what they're saying is a milky white color, still the nylon-coated stainless steel. The difference is the swiv, the swiv needles, you'd imagine, have a swivel to them. Which, like I said earlier, with the Lucas set, if I'm given a choice, I always want swivel needles. So they sell these cables in all of the links that you'd imagine, of course, and because Chiaogu needles have a different join for the different sizes, there are two join sizes. Um, if you have tiny needles, you'll get the small join, and these are the smalls, and then if you have a larger size needle, there is a larger join. So you have to be sure which one you're buying when you're picking up these needles. And the last thing we have from Chiaogu is that they have expanded the size of their shorties. So this one, like, is a US 10, and their lace needles are really nice. Very lightweight. This has the larger join that I was just talking about. Beautiful needles but everyone's looking for the shorties for things like bulky socks and sweater sleeves and things like that. So uh, Chiaogu is now coming out with their twist set in the larger sizes. And again, remember, larger cord join. Larger cord join. I think that makes sense. I think you know what I mean. Okay, the last thing I have here are some cases. And in the very pink Knits podcast the audio podcast people are always asking about um how to store their needles with a lot of needle sets we end up getting an awesome case you know this one case in point <laughs> that wasn't meant to be a pun but uh how to join how to store needles that you already have um, that didn't come in a case and so i have a couple of things to show you here this one is the interchangeable needle 
case from Knitter's Pride. This pattern is called Blossom. There are a couple of different fabric patterns you can choose from. And you can store a ton of needles in here. If you have bought a whole set, you can fit more than one whole set in here. If you have just um, some kind of bits and pieces of interchangeable needles, you can of course fit them all in here. You have the pockets to fit the needles. These pockets can hold larger needles and it's like a book inside. You have more here that can hold very large needles, very, uh, very large needle tips. And then there is a generous pocket to hold all of the, the cords and stoppers and everything else that you need. Everything zips together neatly, just like we expect with all Knitter's Pride cases, to fit in your knitting bag or on your bookshelf, which is the way that I store them. And then this one here, the same blossom fabric, which is kind of a pretty watercolor. This one is the fixed circular set. So there are enough pockets here to hold 22 different fixed circulars. And when I say fixed circulars, I mean the ones that aren't from an interchangeable set. You know, the cord comes permanently attached. And I know that, uh, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when I was buying a lot of needles before interchangeable sets were popular, I ended up with like a lot of Addy fixed circular sets. And so this is something where I can store them and I can see what I have and it's easy to um, find what I'm looking for. So we have a bunch of pockets here, a bunch of pockets here, like a book, more here, more here. And the literature that it came with says that there's a zipper interior pocket holds small accessories but I have been over every seam in this and I don't see a zippered interior pocket for, there's nothing on the outside, for small accessories. But the thing about fixed circulars is that you don't have small accessories with fixed circulars. You don't have, you don't have keys or, or the little extenders or anything. I mean, the needle is done. It's, it's, it's one thing and that's all you need. So I'm not sure why the literature says that, but there, you don't really need it that much. Anyway, again, a beautiful case that zips up securely. And you know, Knitter's Pride always does a really good job with nice zippers that you don't end up fighting with. That's something I do appreciate about their cases. So did I just make it through all of the new products? I think I did. And that's it. That's what I have for this video. If you have questions on any of these products, please contact the different manufacturers directly. I'll do my best to get links to all this stuff. And I'll tell you one thing that, um, that comes up in uh, emails and messages quite a lot. People want to be able to contact, you know, Knitter's Pride or Luca or Chowgu, you know, they want to contact them with a question about their products. I'll tell you an easy way to get through to these different companies is through Facebook Messenger because they usually have a marketing person on the other end of that messaging account and the marketing people are usually pretty good about returning emails and messages. So they'll make sure that you're, um, your question gets to the right person or they'll answer it yourself. So that, that's my little bit of advice for contacting different companies with uh, questions about their knitting products. Anyway, that's what we have um, here today. I will provide as many links as I can for all of this stuff. Good luck.